So once again, I'm making another video for this. I forgot this was even a thing until someone in my stream today uh, asked me a question on how to build a fleet involving the new ship. So if you guys are fortunate or unfortunate because you have to pay to get Soyuz here, uh, some of you guys are new and you guys don't have the fleet for this. All right. So uh, today someone asked me and they had like New Jersey and they had like Shinano and stuff like that in their fleet. So this is what they're expecting to do. Now I'm not saying this fleet isn't bad or uh, is isn't or isn't good because it does work. You can make this a bit better. Uh, primarily, the reason why you don't want to run this is because Shinano. If you do this fleet, you got to run two. I you gotta run two more IJN because Shinano needs three IJN to get the buffs for uh, I think her yellow skill here or her blue skill. It's one of these skills here. Uh, she needs three or more IJN ships to get this buff. Which makes it so they get increased 15% aviation and increased accuracy by 15%. And so, in order to get the most, I guess, benefits out of this, I will put Shinano out of this, but you can run this though. Um, it does work out because uh, Soyuz has a skill here where you only need two or more. Now, I thought this said three, three or more at first when I first read this like a week ago, but you only need two. So, it actually could work out here. Um, it gives more flexibility if you run two or more. So you can't run like say double um, Double carriers unless you want to do the other buff that she has where she gives um, I believe what was it damage reduction? It was, I think it was damage reduction or something like that. Actually, well she buffs carriers Increase main fleet accuracy. Okay accuracy Okay, so she gets accuracy buff or whatever. So it's not terrible. Uh, but yeah, I would not do this for this fleet. I was pushing on another fleet though and put it with Hakubi or something. So let's kick her out. Now, this gives you the option of having a flex slot right here. Now you can run multiple things here. You can do whatever you want. I personally just go with the option of the safe option because uh, some of you guys are new and you guys can't get like most resources. Duke of York, again. We're going to say this once again, Duke of York is still going to be a very, very good ship. Probably the best uh, SSR ship available if you're a big fan of uh, Battleship Gaming. Yeah, uh, still relevant to this day. Until you get Vanguard, which is probably going to be the next rerun after Kronstadt, it's going to be a while. So Duke of York here can get the job done for you. Now, Duke of York can be found in War Archives. War Archives over here. Winter's Crown right there in big, bold, pink hair on your right. You can see that you can farm for her in D3. So it's a rare drop. You get it that way. Or there's multiple factors as well too. You can go ahead and get her from, I think, the PvP shop as well. Uh, sometimes you'll see her available in, I think, this place. Yeah. And I think there's one other spot. I think it was like one of these things here where you can grab her uh, from these nodes or whatever. Um, not this one, but... This is also pretty good. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, though, otherwise, though, I think she's in the PvP shop. If you have 20,000 points in PvP, she should pop up eventually and you can grab her there. So if you guys don't want to farm for her in War Archives, then just pick her up for 20k in the shop here. And then you have a solid fleet. This fleet is going to be really, really good. So just toss in whatever tank you guys have. I don't, I don't know what tank is available as of right now. Just use something like Talon. Uh, Talon is available also in the War Archives. So... Down here, I talked about this in one of my videos a while back. If you guys need a solid tank, Talon is very, very good here. I don't think she gets buffed by Soyuz, but you can definitely run her um, as a fleet ship or whatever. So let's go over here. Uh, my Talon is somewhere right here. And then, I don't know, run like, I guess, wave clearing. You probably need some damage at Vanguard, so... Uh, I don't know what the best wave clean ship as of right now. Maybe if you have Og, um, that new DD or whatever was her name, Og, Ogvoy or whatever, Ognavoy, I forgot her name. Um, you can toss her in. Yeah, Ognavoy. So toss her in, and then if you want some buffs to whatever, you can you can't go wrong with Helena. Helena is a very solid choice. So if you guys have Helena here, do that, and boom, there you go. Some decent wave clearing in the front because of Ogne. You got a buff from Helena, you got a tank here, and you have a three solid battleships with New, Jer New Jersey, Soyuz, and uh, Duke of York. Now, if you don't have New Jersey, 
because you guys didn't go super far into the permanent pool, whatever. Uh, there are a lot of other side options you can run at, for the time being for uh, battleships. Uh, I don't know what the best battleship you guys can get as of right now is if you guys are um, uh, like new. I, I let me think for a bit, but there is there are some solid options in here. Let me let me just look around for a bit. Um, super rare. Uh, minus the uh, minus the uh, what you would call it the um, PR ships. I think hood after augment is can be very very solid. Um, again, so uh, Soyuz doesn't have to be the flagship position to get the buffs uh, to use her barrage. So if you want to do like hood in the middle and then Soyuz in the back or whatever, like in the top section, they can get some good wave clearing here. Uh, the reload will buff and help make uh, Soyuz very, very powerful in unleashing more barrages. And then you have the Duke of York or whatever, the classic. This actually can work pretty, pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you can definitely do a fleet like this until you get more, much more... Uh, much better battleships available, like New Jersey or whatever. But this can work. I probably recommend this fleet for you guys if you guys want something simple and you guys have played this current event. The only, requ the only requirement is to farm out a Talon and a Duke of York if you guys can't get her in PvP. Hood should be really easy to get nowadays. There's so many ways to get her. Uh, Agnavoy is from the recent um, event, and then Helena is always there. And then so use it as always. So it's easy fleet to make. Shouldn't take you more than like maybe a month. All right. And then if you have New Jersey, replace New Jersey with Hood. And there you go. All right. So thank you guys for watching as always. Good luck farming. And I'll see you guys in the next video as always.